All right, welcome to AMA number three. And today's question was about subject lines. Basically, how do I come up with my email subject lines? So there's three main subject line types that I use and I'll share what they are and then which ones I use the most and the least. And you can take this and model it for your own list. You'll also see this if you're on my email list, you'll see these pretty much every day because I send an email every day and you can see examples of this in real time. So the first subject line type that I use, and this is probably the one I use the least, is curiosity plus pain. And an example of that would be this one here. So one of my big, one of my biggest business regrets. This is a curiosity plus pain because you don't know what the regret is until you open the email. So there's curiosity and it also talks about a pain. So it talks about something that I did that I regret with my business. And you would open this if you wanna see what that is. So I use this the least because I don't want people on my list feeling pain all the time and, and being annoyed and frustrated. And so I'll mix this in with the other two that I share, but I use this one probably the least amount. Another example of curiosity plus pain would be this one. So are you ashamed of being tiny? So I, I like to mix in humor if I can um, sometimes. And this one again, this one here, the hardest niche to sell to. This is another one. Doing this will attract the wrong people. So I actually use this a decent amount, but I still use it less than the other two. So curiosity plus pain, that's the first subject line. The second one is curiosity plus pleasure. So this is just the opposite of, of the pain is you're painting a picture of an outcome. You wanna make this as visual as possible. So typically within these emails, I will include a screenshot or an image that adds a proof element to whatever this is. So how to get one to $3 leads. There's a screenshot here of $1 to $3 leads and the email, we'll talk about emails in another AMA, but the email talks about how I did this. So this is an example of curiosity plus pleasure. Here's another one here, how to grow your email list like a weed. So I have another screenshot here of my ad account. Uh, let's find one more. So if we go, to here, here we go. How to get paid every day. And we got a stripe with over 10,000 payments and it links to a Substack post. So anytime I can add an image, I like to do it with these curiosity plus pleasure subject lines and emails, but I use this one a lot more because it just shows people like what's possible and it gets them pumped up to go and wanna do that thing. So that's the second type. The third email subject line type is what I call box labels. So if you've ever moved apartments or houses before and you've packed things into a box, and you put a piece of duct tape on it and you write like kitchen supplies or master bedroom. That's what I mean by box label subject lines. There's no emotion tied to it. There's no hypey like discover this or the secret to this. It's just what is in the box. That's how you want to label your subject line. If you think about when you send emails or you receive emails from friends or family members, they typically don't use that kind of hypey language like discover or secret or the one thing, right? They just write what's in the email right? Like, a, I don't know, birthday party or wedding reservation. So whatever is in the email, that's what the subject line is. It's just alluding to whatever the, the email content is. So let's look at some examples of that. 10 Rainmaker Commandments, one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I guess Taylor Swift could be that too. Email Rainmaker Elite, the Substack strategy. So you see there's no emotion, there's no hype. It's just what's in the email and someone who's interested in that thing, there is a bit of curiosity involved too because I'm not talking about, there's no like preview text that talks about what exactly is in the email. So if the person reading it is interested in the topic of the subject line, they're gonna open that. Okay, so that's the third type, which, which is box labels. I use this a lot, especially when I'm selling offers and I'm doing direct sales pitches. So like this here is one of my programs, Email Rainmaker Elite. And so I use that. I use it for that a lot, but I use this one probably the second most out of the three. Okay, so those are the three subject line types. The first is curiosity plus pain. The second is curiosity plus pleasure. And I like to add some kind of proof shot or image if I can get it. And the third type is box labels. So I hope this was useful. Use this for your own list. Join my email list so you can see examples of this live. And I'll see you in the next AMA.